hola hola hello beautiful people hope you all are doing well hope you're staying safe welcome back to elastic views on this one we're going to be doing a self visa credit card apply with me i'm sure you all on youtube you may have been seeing this self credit card thing they have a lot of ads on youtube really like always advertising themselves get a self credit card self credit card self credit card now I'm gonna try it and y'all are gonna apply with me, apply alongside with me and we're just gonna see how it is. We've had a video where we talked about different credit cards students can benefit from, it's up in my channel. And then we had like an international student talk about how to get your driver's license. And in terms of when I talked about people renting cars as well. For renting cars in general, you do need a credit card a lot of times. And I did talk about credit cards in that video, but now we're gonna try this one, self credit card, and just apply for it. So just watch alongside with me and let's see how it is. So I've been seeing this a lot and I just thought, okay, let's see. Um, it has, I'm gonna start the recording so that it can record my screen. Okay, so all you have to do is go to self.inc, which I'm, I'm gonna put those links in the description anyways, but, while you're on there, you're gonna see sell the ink slash visa secure credit card. I always, I really always like their interface. Their ads always look so nice and so portable. So yeah, let's just get down to it. It says introducing sell visa credit card, your next tool for building credit. Okay, have an open credit builder. What does it do? Choose your credit limit, order your card, receive and activate, track and pay on time. Card benefits, your next tool for building credit. No, the thing is, I already have. I already have some credit cards, especially one main one that I know really works for me. But um, let's see how this works. So if you want to work on this alongside with me, feel free to go ahead. But you can just watch me for now and then continue later. So I'm going to put my email here as they directed. SarahLashaJo11 at gmail.com. Get started. Okay. Take control of your credit today. What should we call you? We need to make sure we're reporting correctly to the credit bureaus. Okay. Let's put my name right there. Put your name as well if you're doing this alongside. You could actually be doing this on your phone, but I'm sure if you're with your phone, you're watching my video. <laughs> of course. Anyways, yes, let's go on next. Take control of your credit. Choose your password, okay? Let's do that. This is fun. I mean, I've always looked at them like self. You know what those ads you see? Sometimes you see self. Sometimes you see Coinbase. Oh, by the way, if you're here for the first time and you've not subscribed, guess what? On the next one, we're doing a Coinbase apply alongside with me. I'm sure you've seen Coinbase of like how to buy Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, um, you know, something that can help you with cryptocurrency and selling and buying. So let's, ah, excuse me. Okay, you put your phone number. We'll use your phone number to keep your account secure. Okay. Well, I'm actually doing this. Okay. I hope it's... I think I've seen it before. People are like, oh, it's self-valid. Is it a good thing? They're like, yeah, it's really good. So that's... I'm just trying this. So. Let's see. Okay. I put my details. Unit 10. It says could not verify my address. Why? Okay, then if it says cannot verify, then it's recommended an address to me. I guess just because I missed the city. Okay, now it's good. What's your address? We need a valid US address to help verify your identity. Anyways, about this, you know, in the last videos, I talked about how if, you, if you're if maybe outside, you're a foreigner, you're yet to come to the US, you don't have an address yet. There's a way you can get an address. It's called anytimemailbox.com. And it's perfectly legal here all you have to do is sign up and you get an address in the u.s you can use it to start a business you can use it to start build credit you can use it while you're outside the u.s you can use it to get a credit card so many things you can do anyways choose a credit builder account your monthly commitment 35 um i don't know about monthly commitment <laughs> do i let me get my phone do i want to commit to anything monthly really because i already have uh yeah because i already have some things Okay, let's see. Your monthly commitment $35. Today, activate your account by paying a one-time non-refundable administrative fee of $9. Next month, pay $35 per month for 24 months. Each month, you build credit history with all three credit bureaus. This is starting to look a bit... I was, it's not shady, but I don't know if this is going as planned. Because... <laughs> I remember when I did my Discover card, which I talked about in the other video, I don't know if I paid a fee upfront. No, they just approved me. So I don't know why it's saying 
activate your account by paying a one-time non-refundable and then pay this amount every month but i don't understand why they're making me pay an amount every month if i'm not spending because from what i know from my discover card if i am spending like something if i'm spending something then it will give me a monthly payment so that i can catch up on those things that i add expenses on to build credits per se but anyways now it says monthly commitments <laughs> this would be like a self credit card applying video gone wrong <laughs> because i don't even know if i want to go on with this right now but let's see after 24 months you've established credit history and you get what does it mean by you get 724 dollars would that be your money do you report her to her after you said and you get what does it mean you get does it mean you get that as your limits or is this like a savings or oh, you can change it you can put it as 48 you can put it as 150 Okay, let's use the 35%. But well, let's see. You've established credit credit issue and you've got $724. What does that mean? Anyway, let's put continue. I really don't know. Um, e sign consent. As part of your relationship with us, we're required by law to give you certain information. I don't know if I'm ready to sign anything, honestly. I really don't know. Let me close this first and read this one. Is there a hard pull on my credit? Okay. This is why this is a learner alongside with me because now you guys are going to do like a google research with me what i would have done normally uh should you pay for self credit card okay let's see i trust investopedia.com so let's see yeah, so I said, is the self credit card worth it? It's also a great card for someone who would like a credit card that can double as an enforced savings plan. That's what I thought because if you're saying that I'm putting in $35 every month and by the 12th or 24th month, I'll have 700 something dollars, then that's like a savings. That's like putting in money in your savings. You know? But, anyways, let's see. Um, it says double as an enforced savings, but after you complete paying off the loan, typically after either 12 or 24 months, and any card balance and many fees are deducted excuse me you receive an interest earned from the security deposit in the account the self lender really help your credits i don't know if i'm i honestly like as a tertiary student i know a little bit about the whole credit card credit history credit report but at the same time i'm not really particular about building this credit score kind of thing but let's see what Investopedia has to say. Because honestly, if I don't need it right now, I'm going to leave it in you all's hands. And yeah, maybe you'll need it. Maybe you think that it's a good option for you in terms of having savings and having a credit record thing. You know, maybe it's good for you. That may be worth it, you know. But yeah, I've, I've seen the, the advert a lot. I really like how the card looks, really. But let's see. Myself, Visa is a secure card. A card type that allows people with no credit or poor credit to build a credit profile. Because right now, there's the Apple credit card, which a lot of people have, especially when you have an Apple product or whatever, Apple credit card. And then there's uh, there's Discover credit card, which is, I have that. I have the Apple. So I don't really know if I need a credit card right now. But if you do go ahead but this is part of learning alongside with me because there are certain things you find online you, you, you might feel like ah let me just jump on that everybody's doing that but no not everything is for you so when you read it when you read about it if you don't like it you don't get it you really don't you don't get it you don't need to get it anyways it says the cell besides a secure card a card type that allows people with no credit program to build a credit profile after meeting the self besides lenient eligibility requirements, you granted a loan hmm. ah, that is placed into an interest-bearing certificate of deposit. Okay, now I'm liking it a little bit and I'm going to tell you why. I'm liking it a little bit because I really love certificate of deposit and I've talked about that in a previous video as well. It's a way whereby you literally loan your bank, loan a bank your own money. You loan a bank your money. Instead of the bank loaning you, you loan the bank your money. And what it does is you keep your money there the bank uses it blah 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 for a period of six months or 12 months and you're getting interest on it and it's a bit higher interest than normal savings or normal interest savings because the bank is using your money and they want you to they do it it's called maturity rates they want it to mature for a period of time they want it to mature for a period of time they want it to they want you to not withdraw it for a period of time it's called the maturity period six months 12 months and you do get good money added to your certificate of deposit most banks like goldman sachs which i've talked about before 
would really encourage you to have that i would really encourage you to put at least 400 or 500 dollars as say it's cod let's say cod cod certificate of deposit okay it says the personal loan has an apr after you make three on-time loan payments the cd has unlocked value and then you can open a secure card using the cd fund certificate you earn interest in the amount you've paid but the card also comes with some fees and charges it offers no rewards or other benefits well oh i see recommended credit score i guess this is why they add run to work because they're always advertising oh credit made easy for everybody uh poor to excellent you have a credit score anybody poor credit or excellent can have this card i guess those are their benefits it says low interest benefits rewards oh yeah ah, good this is why i love investopedia investopedia is telling us the pros and cons it's telling us qualification is relatively easy it builds credit while earning interest on savings cons no immediate qualification is easy okay that's probably what it is i mean why would it be easy if i'm right here okay what's it gonna yeah if i'm right here and i'm about to pay some money to even open the account and um I'm about to be depositing every month <laughs> better be easy so it says qualification is easy build credit while earning interest okay well interest on savings yeah i guess it's okay like okay from what i'm seeing now i would recommend self but i just won't do it right now just because i don't think i need it right now i have a system of savings that i'm getting good interest on and then i have a system of credit that i'm you know learning the whole credit stuff building credits stuff with so for now it's not for me but i'm going to recommend it why because it's a way to kind of put both together and later i may consider it if i don't want to be doing both in different ways i may consider having just this self you know credit thing whereby it helps my savings and it helps my credits that's what i'm getting from these vibes it says build credit while earning interest on savings that's good then cons no immediate access to funds <laughs> i know right it's like you're putting in your money they're keeping it for you that's really what cod's are certificate of deposits you just put it in there and um yeah it keeps on working for you it's matures and you don't take it out can be relatively expensive that's what i thought Thank God I didn't say that myself. It said it by itself. It said it can be relatively expensive. Yeah, I don't know if that's that's okay for everyone right now. Because it says qualification is relatively easy. Let's see what it says for this one. There are fees and charges. These are the cons. Where some security cards have no annual fee. The sale visa costs $25 a year. Exactly. A lot of cards don't have any annual fees, especially as students. I've talked about that in a video. So Go on my channel you find it's not too far away and it says credit cards for students credit cards for international students all those kind of stuff but it applies to everybody yeah lots of those cards have no annual fee but self apparently costs 25 dollars a year plus there's a one-time nine dollar non-refundable administrative fee also you might incur an early withdrawal fee of less than five dollars depending i don't like all those things whereby maybe you go down a limit and then they want to now take your money like the reason why i went down to that limit is because i have no money so don't try to take my money a lot of banks that do that really annoy me like <laughs> obviously i don't have money that's why i went down low now you want to come and remove all the money again or put me at the negative how does that help me or you <laughs> They're just so funny sometimes so but i've told you a lot of banks that i really really recommend as a student as a millennial i've told you a lot of times don't slack on them there's marcus by goodman sachs there's um discover card there's um chase it's called the uh, best what's it called deserve deserve adu cards yeah like i said it's in those videos so go and find them this card is best for credit builder yeah it's best for credit builder but right now i don't really need that so I think we're coming to the end of this video because what we realized is we have this and this is why I stopped probably because I put my email they'll probably start sending me emails like oh when are you going to finish your <laughs> they probably start saying going to start saying when are you going to finish your credit card payment and stuff when no when are you going to finish setting up your credit card account well I'm so sorry self I hope maybe you sponsor me in the future but right now I don't really need this right now I really don't need this right now because I already have systems in place for me but my viewers watching may need it and so I'm gonna put all the links in the description so that y'all can check it out choose and build choose a credit builder account your monthly commitment you do that blah 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 but yeah we are gonna stop right there because I don't have 
I'm not trying to pay any more money than I already pay sometimes. So, and based on credits and stuff I do sometimes, I'm trying to like track everything easily. I don't, I don't, it's not a numbers game to me. I'm not trying to have so many. I don't like that. I like to have stuff that I have, maybe one here, one here maximum. And I focus on that literally. So that's it for me for now. And maybe, maybe another time, maybe it would be useful if I need to switch. But again, I know you all have listened up to this stage. You've seen how the, the self system works. You've seen what the website looks like. And yeah, you can make that decision for yourself. But I'm so glad you stayed on here with me today to kind of review and work and apply alongside with me a fulfilled application literally but yeah you can decide it for yourself like i said but thank you all so much on here we do menina talk self-help development faith lifestyle worship content nigerian content international students credit finances career entrepreneurship things like that so thank you all so much god bless you don't forget to come back for more let me know in the comments if you tried self before let me know in the comments if you see their ads everywhere <laughs> let me know in the comments if you would like to give them a try let me know if you do go through with the application unlike me so let me know thank you all so much for stopping by again i don't think we're missing anything but yes we're going to be doing more videos on this we're going to be doing a video on coinbase i'm sure you all have seen that too in terms of coinbase helps you to build a uh, bitcoin cryptocurrency i've been seeing that a lot i do have a system of bitcoin learning that i'm already doing but i'm gonna also try to apply to coinbase and see how it is so y'all can come alongside with me to, to do that together and yeah let's have fun so of course if you want to see that of course stay here subscribe so you see my next video hit the bell notification so you get notified come back for more and you know let's 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 learn let's let's grow let's let's become better together amen amen thank you all so much god bless you yeah, I didn't forget anything. See you again on the next video. Stay safe. I love you all. Bye.